Oh, oh, come on. Hughes, that's a masterpiece. Save the drink, falling backwards. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we got some more Kickstarter products. You guys loved it last time. So we're gonna see what kind of crazy items we can find that were funded on Kickstarter. All right, first item of the day, bam! Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have definitely seen this before. Where's my knife? It's a rug, alarm rug, clock. clock. It's rug. a rug clock. It is what it says it is, basically. <laughs> I feel like this could be a vibe, though. The alarm goes off, you wake up, you're lying in bed normally you go you slap your alarm you know at least that's what i look like this would make you actually roll out of bed put your feet on the ground let the mat know that you're awake and then go back to bed. Yeah. you can go back to bed exactly <laughs> okay so this is the ruggy it looks kind of like a, a keyboard pad but let's open it up and see what we have on the inside oh that's soft that's spare soft oh <laughs> Oh, that'll wake you up in the morning. Oh, look, you can see the alarm right there. Look, you can see the time. Some wax on, wax off vibes. This is very comfortable. I will say, this will wake you up and maybe put you back to sleep. As soon as your feet hit this, they'll feel like they're in a bed and then your whole body will just shut back down and fall back asleep. Okay, uh, I guess we just have to wait. That's what you think that I am, man. You know what? I'm gonna pause it, pause it. Okay, you guys didn't hear Jay's song, but Jay was just playing a song. If we get 20,000 likes on this video, Jay has to use the song in his next B-roll sequence in the next video. So smash the like button. And you guys get to hear Jay's, uh, his, the artist side. Well, I guess he's still doing art too, but 20,000 likes. In the meantime, uh, still got two more minutes. So, uh, you see the Broncos today? It was rough. Oh, all I know is I have to wake up. Aha! It works with your hands too! I tricked my ruggy. I thought my feet were there. Guess what? I just rolled half out of bed and put my hands down Not and then rolled ruggy. back in. It works. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna actually try this. I will tell you that right now. Jay? <laughs> Before we jump into the next part of the video, I have something very important to tell you guys. Come in close. I'm an alien. I'm just kidding. Today's video is sponsored by Filmora 10. Filmora 10 is a popular video editing program used by beginners and experts alike. It's incredibly easy to use, packed full of amazing features, and guess what? You can try it completely free. Best of all, they've added some new features that are incredibly handy as a YouTuber, including motion tracking, keyframing, color matching, and audio ducking. My favorite is well, Jay, you do the edits now. You tell them. My favorite is audio docking. I was showing screens too much. On top of that, Filmora 10 has everything from royalty-free music, so you can avoid copyright claims, video effects, video transitions, filters, and even animated title templates. There's nothing much going on in the world, so now's the perfect time to pick up a new hobby or learn a new skill. So I highly recommend downloading Filmora 10 so you can get start editing your first video today. If you want a chance to win a year free of Filmora X, all you gotta do is comment down below about your experience using Filmora and share some of your creations on social media. Don't forget to tag me and hashtag FilmoraX because the Filmora team is going to be going through submissions and picking one lucky winner. We've got Fire Safe, Wolf Grizzly, Portable Fire Pit and Grill Companion. That's, oh, backtrack. I forgot to tell you about the Ruggies. So, Jay, do you think it was successful? It was very successful. They were looking for $50,000 Canadian. Guess how much they got? This is from Vancouver too. This is a Canadian company. They got $461,679. Yep. They got a whole bunch of press. This was back in January, 2017. So shout out to Ruggy. All right, now back to what I was talking about. We got the Fire Safe Portable Fire Pit and Grill Companion. This looks interesting. This could be a, an actual vibe starter and creator. Whoa. Pause, our last video just went live. I gotta go reply to your comments because that's what I always do. I'm probably doing it right now. Right now, I'm probably replying to you guys in the comment section, so go check it out. First comment, we got Bloody Beanie. Says early, cuh. Uh -huh. <laughs> We got T that says, heck yeah. Some guy swerving on my girl. We got E Paul plays YT saying, not gonna lie, Olivia is so pretty. Ha ha ha! Take that shit elsewhere, my man. It's a compliment, 
<laughs> when y'all finna get married, it's like I'm watching my mom and dad go holiday shopping. <laughs> I don't know if that's a roast or like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to take that. I'm gonna like it anyways. Look at these. You see me? You see me? I'm liking. Okay, never mind. You know what? I, I liked a bunch. I replied a few. I'm gonna do some more, but I'm doing that on this video right now too. So be sure to comment down below. Uh, let's get back on track. Let's focus in here. We can set up our own little fire pit, I think is what we're able to do, which is good because you know, we're always making fire here in video format. Okay, so you set this up, you open the frame to create a square, align the circular caps into the slots. And boom, that's it. That's kind of a vibe. What the hell? That was way more simple than I was expecting it to be. So you would actually build your fire in this. And I think that's why they have these little ridges so that you can easily set the wood up to make your teepee. Oh, what the hell? It says I can order now. Oh, this is live. That's very interesting. I'm giving them some free promo. If you guys want one, go check it out. They're killing it right now. Okay, again, another Canadian company based out of Toronto. Hey, if you guys are watching this, I already reviewed your product. So there's not, I don't know, just say thank you, I guess. So as of right now, this is probably going to improve, but they were looking for $20,000. So far, they have raised a whopping $248,321 from 1,695 backers. That's, that's a lot. Well done. Another Canadian company killing it. So uh, yeah, fire kit. Next item, the Yugo grip. I think this is like a take on a pop socket. So you put it on the back of your phone and then you can do something with it. That was an A1 explanation. <laughs> okay, we've got our uh, knockoff iPhone. I really don't know what I'm doing and I did not read any instructions. I mean, the only instance that they're showing it in use is like this. You just can hold your phone, do little elastic tricks with it maybe, I don't know. So basically there's some bands that go all the way around, but they're stuck in at the top. Top, so you can very easily stick your hands in here, use your phone. It's it's not the most comfortable. Maybe there's a better way of using this that I'm just not fully aware of, but let's see how it did. They were looking for $4,500. They've raised $11,000. Not bad, not bad. Not as crazy as our previous two. They have successfully reached their goal, but is this a product that is really gonna change lives, change the world, revolutionize the way you use your mobile device? Hell no. It's kind of cool though. Good for you. I mean, it, it, you did it, you achieved it, so I can respect that. Jay? Yeah. By the way, guys, I have purchased two very cool, very expensive pieces of tech from Kickstarter or maybe Indiegogo. I can't remember which one, but I did it as a funder instead of after it's actually been funded. So we're going to be doing a video on those when they come out. One of them is like, it's like the Tesla of e-bikes. So it's gonna be pretty cool. This thing looks wild. But anyways, back to what we have here. We've got in-flight. Uh, go anywhere, anytime with peace of mind. Thank you for your support. Made in Canada, another Canadian one. We've got a t-shirt. Oh, we got a handwritten note, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you for your order and for supporting I'm Fist. I hope your new shirt will assist your, you, uh, they literally wrote your and then crossed it out, on your next adventure. Alex, P.S. We appreciate your review and follow on social. All right, you know what else I would appreciate, Alex? Some penmanship lessons. Cause this, what is this? Okay, so uh, I don't, it doesn't really explain much about it, but I mean, typically when you buy something, you know what you're buying. So uh, that makes sense, but it says in-flight apparel. Okay, you know what? I, I should try this on, right? Okay, we got the shirt on. Honestly, the fit is pretty nice. It's a good fit. So I think what the idea here is they've built a t-shirt with a bunch of pockets in it. So that while you're traveling, you don't need a whole bunch of extra extra stuff, a backpack, all that. You can just put it in your in your pocket. But these are kind of weird. Like, what would you really put in here? Like, okay, let's say I wanna put my, my cable, my charging cable in here. Now, can you see that I have a charging cable under my armpit? Is it, it, that's kind of weird, no? I feel like that's a little bit funky. Oh, so it's like if you're if you got some expensive jewels and you're going uh, you're going on a trip, maybe you're in a little more of a sketchy area where there's some pickpockets. Maybe you're you're going to um, somewhere in Rome. You know, there's a lot of pickpockets in Rome. So you put your jewels in your in your pockets because nobody can get to these. Feel like this is one of those things that's a good idea, like in in theory, but in execution. Not so much. So they were looking for three grand and they raised ten thousand nine hundred dollars again This is from Toronto. I feel like this is a this is a cool little hobby product This is never gonna go anywhere. This is not gonna blow up, but it's fun make a little bit of money on the side That's that's kind of cool. But is it for me? Probably not whatever they use to make this shirt I would buy that but the pocket situation get rid of it. I don't want that. I just want this shirt I actually like this bamboo material. It fits nice. It's breathable. It's soft $68? 
<laughs> Alex, you're a sicko, my friend. You're a sicko. You actually took money from 160 people. Gave you 10 grand. You are, you are a, a, that's a robbery. I might make a troll product, put it on Kickstarter and see if we can get it funded. That'd be hilarious. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but let's see what else we got here. How many, how many likes? And we'll do that. We'll make a troll product. 30,000 likes? 30,000 likes. We'll make a troll Kickstarter product. Maybe it'll end up even being a real product, but we'll make a, a Kickstarter campaign and see if we can get it funded. You know, I mean, if Alex can get this shit funded, I think we can come up with something. I'm sorry, Alex. I really am. Bing. Oh, what the f- Bruh, you are gonna not expect what's inside here. How the fuck is Expo's really- How did they come up with that? I think this is some kind of ergonomic keyboard design. Well, I know that it is. It says ergonomic design on it. Okay, so when you normally type on the keyboard, it's like this, right? But your hands, that means your hands are bending into a, a natural position. You're not flowing with the natural, you know, direction of your arms. You feel, you feel me. I know you do. Everybody at home does too. The way I envision it, a keyboard should be like this big and then you're, you're wrists would just be straight. It wouldn't be putting any pressure on your wrist. So what they're doing is fixing that issue, but obviously you can't have a two foot long keyboard. That would be weird. So instead they put it on the inside. Look at that. You see that shit? My wrist is straight, ladies and gentlemen. So in theory, good idea. I like what they're trying to come up with. Save me from some carpal tunnel vibes. But is this gonna work? Oh my God, this is so awkward. Holy shit, I can't even type. Oh, okay, so there's a learning curve on this. So look at the difference. We got, this is probably like a third of the size. Watch these fingers go. Okay, you see, I can, I can type quick. That looks hard. Bro, this is <laughs> tripping me out. I do like the clicks. Like it's a good quality keyboard, I would say that. It would take some getting used to, but I could see this actually in the long run being better. And maybe once you get the hang of it, you could even type faster. It's interesting that they have the enter, shift and control in the center here. I feel like that's kind of smart. I could see the, the point of what they're trying to do here. And I do think in the long run, it would actually make a positive impact. Though again, this is one of those things where it's like, do I need this? Is this a product of need? Or is this just kind of like, sure, why not? Oh, this is a new one. It's right now. You can cop this too. They were trying to get 40 grand. They got $324,000 from 1,628 backers. Not bad, not bad. How did I get this already? Next item, quality spinning tops. The forever spin. You may, oh, oh, God damn. See if it spins forever. While it spins, we will open the next one. Does it have to spin on this? This is very well branded. Oh, I guess it doesn't spin forever. I'm guessing that spins better on here. So you think this really will spin forever? So why do they call it spin forever? So they clickbaited me. I can't hate on that. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> this is just Beyblades for adults. I'm Oh, all right, so that's our, our forever spin. We'll set this aside, see how long it spins for. So this campaign is from 2018. It doesn't even say how much they were trying to, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, their goal was 10 grand, $736,000. It did last for a long time. These are like all very high quality items. Holy shit, some of them are 150. You can get a tungsten one for $158. The black zirconium one is pretty nice though, 89 bucks. Yo, they're sucking me in. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God, I must evacuate. They will get me. All right, we're gonna move that to the side and we're gonna check out our pixel wallet. So you what, you have some cards, you pop them in here. Oh, that's kind of a vibe, what the hell? But like, what if I have like nine cards in here? Just, here's all nine. What do you guys think? Don't worry, babe, I got dinner. <laughs> that's how unsmooth that was. The forever spin was like, nah, I'm done. You know what's weird about this? Okay, now when this stops spinning, I feel the need to spin it again. This is some like psycho mental shit. This isn't more than a product. This is a psychological game. I feel better now. <laughs> Okay. They were looking for three grand. They got 13 grand. Not bad, not bad. These guys are in Montreal. Interesting concept. Not my favorite thing we've got today, but next item. Hey, this looks kind of interesting. We've got Venatos. It says RGB extra large gaming mat and wireless charging. So it's like a mouse pad. 
looks like a mouse pad. Oh shit, this oh. is XL. I do have uh, like a dinky version of this from Wish. It was it was actually not bad. It was one of those decent little products. Had this same kind of like RGB light around it. It did not have this charging patch. I like this. So basically you could charge your phone. You have enough space for your Xbox and your mouse. I've got my forever spin distracting me from all my problems. This is a pretty lit little setup. Okay, very nice, very interesting. Let's see how Venatos did. I don't know why, but I feel like this should be like a type of shoe. Venatos. You guys, say it at home. It's honestly fun to say. Venatos. They were looking for $5,000. How much do you think they got? 5,300. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me that they just made it because there's gotta be other things out there doing this exact same exactly. thing. Like if I got this on Wish and it on Wish, my G, there's this attached to it by somebody. Um, but this is still kind of cool. Price wise, I don't know if it's competitive. They still did it. They were successful and they launched a mouse as well. So maybe they've got a, another whole bunch of products coming soon. All right, it is time for the largest Kickstarter item that we've ever gotten. At least I think it's a Kickstarter item. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna find out together. Oh my God. This honestly is either a Shark Tank item or a Kickstarter one. I can't remember. Is this a bed? It's a corduroy bean bag. That's kind of a vibe. Oh my God, this is huge. How does this turn into a bean bag? I'm sweating. Fold like a taco and then you put it in a cover? Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, we got it in purple? Yeah, this was a Shark Tank item. <laughs> my bad. Oh my God, this sucks. If you guys enjoyed this video, there's two more on the screen right now. Be sure to check those out. Subscribe if you are new. Follow me on IG for 25 days of giveaways. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you next time. Toodles.